In 1990, Simon Cashmere was minding his own business when someone dropped in. That someone was his time twin, Kappa Two, who had traveled back from the 23rd century to ask a favor. What do you want? I'll tell you. We're gonna swap places. Okay. So, what's a hypergrid? Mm, the hypergrid? Uh, well, it's just a game. What sort of game? Well, don't worry, you was it, no trouble. With the Time Twins now in opposite and illegal time zones, the trouble really began. But they both had help. Simon turned Kappa's computer into a hologram who understood the 20th century. It's me, Buster! What kind of a face is that? The face was chosen completely at random. But I picked the nose myself! Well, <laughs> sort of understood the 20th century. And Kappa had the use of his wristband which, as it could freeze time and defy gravity, it was pretty useful in 1990. So while Simon was beating the dreaded Sigma-6 on the hypergrid, the winner is Kappa 2! Kappa was busy stealing his girlfriend, Tracy. I can prove he's an It was alien. about now, really, that things started to go wrong. I know your secret. You're a flame from our Centauri. You beat me because you're not Kappa 2. So who are you? Sigma-6 tried to blow the whistle on Kappa and Simon. He traveled Excuse back me. to 1990 and called in the feared time police. But with the help of computer and Simon's friend Steve, who by now knew the truth, the time twins escaped capture. Sigma was caught by the time police and banished to Alteraria. Kappa and Simon returned safely to their own time zone. Oh, just one last thing. Simon got home using Kappa's time belt, but when Kappa asked him to send it back, things didn't quite go according to plan. We need the time belt back. So how do I do that? Uh, there's a return to all a function. Yeah, just press 909 and I'll find it way back to it. 9 what? 9 oh, 9 9 9 9 9 9 how long has it got? Before he ends up in the black hole, about 10 minutes. My sensors indicate you intend to rescue him. Well, somebody's got to. that dream again. Well, come on. You don't want to miss the train. Okay. Breakfast in ten minutes. Kappa 2. Where do I know that name from? That's the third time he's had that nightmare this week. Could the memory freeze be wearing off? In theory, that should be impossible. A memory freeze is permanent. So how does he remember my name? The only possible explanation is that Simon was in such a state of shock after you rescued him from the black hole that the memory freeze was only partially effective. But as I administered the memory freeze personally, it seems highly unlikely. Look, this 20th century stuff is really wazzing me off. Can't you just reprogram? No, I'm back and I'm staying like this here. So what are we going to do about Simon? I've no idea. What have they got in here? I just hurry the girls up. Well, you know, 
Most people just take things they need out of the wardrobe. Well, Lucy takes the whole wardrobe. <laughs> there you go. Oh, gee, thanks, Lucy. Hope carrying it didn't wear you out too much. It's been on that thing forever. It's only a game, Gamma. A silly Holovision quiz show. Ultra match isn't a matter of life or death, you know. Hello? Is there anybody there? What? What? Hey! You can't just sit here and drink a wonderful fun berry all day, eh? I got a business to run and the keys to fit. So you gotta buy something or you take a hike, eh? Sheesh. What's the matter with The new owners reprogrammed them to be a more aggressive salesman. Howdy, hey, Tom. What's wrong? Haven't you heard? What? About Sigma Six. Ah, oh, Sigma Six. Now, where have I heard that name before? <laughs> I wonder if he's enjoying his stay on the outer area. Oh, no. He's not an outer area anymore. He got out today. Oh, don't be a dog tell. He'll be there for at least 20 years. Not according to my dad. His friend at the Justo Division says Sigma's psycho correction's been a success. They're sending him home. You're not going to believe what I've just heard. I already know. About Sigma Six. So it's true. Look. Dan, da, da, da. Under the conditions laid down in Law 46 of the Punishment Tribunal, a public apology must be given by the criminal Sigma-6 to the victim Kappa-2. This apology is set for 18 hours today in Zetas, where the criminal's false accusation against you was first made. Your presence is required. I don't believe it. How could he have been released? It's not unknown for psychocorrection to be effective in such a short time. But in Sibasis's case, it's extremely unlikely. Yeah, but what if he tries to cause trouble again? Aha! Uh -huh. That's no need to worry. Oh, it's easy for you to say. You don't have to face him. Look, as a convicted time felon, he doesn't have the right to own a master class computer, which means he's no longer a threat to you. Second, the gremloid I inserted into the focal directional beam of the time pod makes it impossible for your illegal time travel to ever be detected. I think. <laughs> What's that, Lucy? What's so funny? Well, nothing. It's just a postcard from Tracy. Oh, that's nice. She says that her and Belinda have met these two gorgeous Greek waiters. We're not interested. And they go out to the disco every night. We don't care about your stupid sister. She can stay in Greece for I care. Oh, I think they're jealous. Shut it, Lucy. Just because Tracy chucked you. Look, why don't you two go and play in the guards van with your Barbie dolls? Cole, that's really witty, Steve. Come on, Sharon. Let's get a drink. These two are so boring. Wakey, wakey. Feeling better now? Got rid of your tense, nervous headache. Yeah. Oh, what a great invention. The Ram Optimood, invented 225R by the General Computer Corporation to relieve mega stress. Yeah, well, it certainly works. <laughs> I can't even remember what I was worried about. Good. <laughs> yes, I can. Bad. My life's over. Sigma's coming back. I've been through this once. A and I'm on Ultra Match tomorrow. It's only a bit of fun. Oh, yeah, it'll be a lot of fun when I make a complete fool of myself in front of millions of viewers tomorrow. Look, give me the option right No! You're overreacting. Ultra match will be easy. It'll be, welcome to the show, Cabot 2, Ed. So far, you have won the bounty bite, the Cape Cord. The big question is, do you want to risk it all, and go for that cuddly toy? What are you talking about? All I'm saying is, you needn't worry about Ultra Match. You're right. As an ex-hypergrid winner, I deserve to be there. Uh, even though you didn't actually win it. <laughs> I can handle it. I can handle Sigma 6. I can handle everything. Good. Here you are, Lucy. How will I recognise Uncle Brian? He'll probably be the one in the Porsche. So how long's your Uncle Brian had this farm then? About ten years. He made a bomb in the city and then moved to the country. What's it like? I don't know. 
He wrote to my mum out of the blue, inviting us to stay with him. Might be dead posh. Good job I packed my dinner jacket then. Excuse me. Sorry, it's all I've got. Oh, hi, are you Simon by any chance? No, I am. Oh, you're Uncle Brian? Yeah. <laughs> Hello, how are you? Fine. This is Steve and hi. Sharon. Hello, how do you hi. do? Oh, and that's Lucy. Hello. I'm sorry, I thought... That's all right, don't worry about it. I'm keeping this, though. Right, come on. This way. I'm parked over here. So what do you think of the countryside then? It's great. Yeah, it's really nice. How about you, Steve? Well, I've never been on a farm before. Ah, oh, it's a good life. You'll love it. Yeah, it's great. to Wild Acres. Now, my name is Brian, and I shall be your guide around this historic, architecturally significant, and particularly smelly farm. Uh, you are now standing in the farmyard. Now, please note the free-range chickens, and of course, their free-range droppings. This way, please. Uh, interesting features to note in the farmhouse kitchen are the Elizabethan stainless steel sink, uh, the uh, handmade Cornish paella pan, uh, and of course uh, the original gnarled farmer's wife. Ignore him, he's completely potty. I recognise you too. How are you? Mm. Fine, thanks. Hello. How are you doing? <laughs> okay, so you must be Sharon and Steve. Sorry, Sharon and Steve. Hi. Hi. I'll try and stop Brian from working you too hard. Yeah. I'm sorry Melanie's not around. She's out on the tractor somewhere. Shouldn't be long, though. Well, let's show you to your rooms, shall we? Yeah, sure, great. Um, could I throw this away somewhere? No, you cannot. Give it to me. We don't throw things away here. We recycle them. Which reminds me, uh, we'll put uh, this in our money jar. Look, why don't I show the girls their room and uh, you see to the lads? Yeah, absolutely. Follow through, boys. <laughs> this farm, boys, is actually built on a ley line, an energy ley line. I've checked it out with my dousing rod and it runs just through here. See if you can feel it. Come on, get down. Yeah. You feel those vibrations. The vibrations of the land. You get in touch with nature. It can change your whole life. Come on, then. I thought you two might want to be on your own. Oh, yeah, great. So we put you in the caravan. Anyway, make yourselves at home and come back over when you've settled in. Yeah, okay, thanks. Bye. Bye.
Well, this really is the lap of luxury, Si. Yeah, well, I didn't know. Mum said they were loaded. Oh, you can tell. To think I could have been with my parents in boring old Tenerife. Well, isn't that bad? Isn't it? Well, feel the vibrations of the land. Get back in touch with nature. It will change your whole life. Can I come in? Mum asked me to bring these over for you. Oh, thanks. So, you're my cousin. Yeah. I recognise you from the baby photos. Yeah, uh, well, I was younger then. <laughs> well, got to dash, pigs to feed. See you later. Bye. Bye. Actually, I think I'm going to like it here. Remember, don't panic. He apologises, you accept the apology, and that's it. Yeah, but he hates me. <laughs> it's irrelevant. Look at the histograms. If you'd spent the last two years in Alteraria, would you cause trouble? Would you risk being sent back? Sigma-6, according to Law 46 of the National Punishment Tribunal, and as a final condition for the release from your custody, you are required to apologise to Kappa-2 for the false accusations you made against him. Kappa, I'm truly sorry for the things I said about you. I was wrong and I apologise. I do hope we can be friends. You have now fulfilled the final condition for the termination of your sentence in Alteraria. As you have no existing parents, you will be released into the care of your nearest existing genetic relative. Is Zeta 872496 present? Over here. I didn't know that Lorna was a relative of Sigma's. Well, somebody has to be. Madam, you are required to take a civic oath. Very well. Do you, Zeta 872496, agree to take into your custody Sigma 6, 872499. I do. You are now entirely responsible for his actions. Should he commit any further felonies, you will both be held accountable. Sigma 6, you're now free. Hey, guys. <laughs> and now perhaps I could offer you a drink. No, thank you, madam. I never drink and AK. <laughs> Silence for a minute, Dick. I'd like you all to know that Sigma Six is going to be working for me at Zeta Core. And together, he and I are going to do our best to restore his good name. Now, to celebrate his release and my recent acquisition of Zetas, all the fundries are on the dome! Oh, yes. Yes. Hey, wait a minute, 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 Okay, boss, whatever you say. Kappa two. Yeah, full Kappa. Kappa. I just want you to know that I really am sorry. Yeah, thanks. Looks like Sigma Six has changed. It really looks like it. Oh, I can't believe it. There you go. Dinner's up. Oh, what is it? <laughs> Homemade dal, tofu and salad. Tofu? Yeah. Try some. Oh, yeah, it's lovely. Thank you, kind sir. No, we're not allowed to eat meat when Mel's at home, because she's a strict vegetarian. Well, you should be too, Dad. It's much healthier. Oh, yeah, well, actually, I, I was thinking of becoming a vegetarian myself. <coughs> You, vegetarian? Uh, yeah, eat, eat your tofu, Steve. So, what are you all planning to do while you're here? Simon's looking for a girlfriend. Lucy. I can't believe you haven't got a girlfriend, Simon. Oh, well, no, we just split up. Yeah, and no, I just finished with mine. I see. Uh, would you like to help around the farm? I mean, maybe help Melanie with the milking. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's fine, that's quite fine. I don't know if Simon should help with the milking. Not with his vegetarian principles.
We should be leaving. Why don't you go and say goodbye to Kappa 2 nicely? Sure. See you around, Kappa. Uh, yeah, the Tranquilla. Who do you think you are, telling everyone I'm working for you? Well, you can take your job and stick it in the echo fluge. There's only one thing I want, and that's revenge on that proto-cretin. Why don't you just relax, Sigma? Relax? Because of Kappa II, I've just spent two years of my life in the worst place in the universe. And that space worm is gonna pay for it. He actually apologized twice. As I said, psychocorrection has been known to be 100% effective. Yeah, his aunt Zeta worries me a bit, though. She said she was going to try and restore his good name. Relax. I'll run the life check on her if you want. Yeah, tranquilo. Oh, and uh, while you do that, I'll have a few minutes on the Optimoda. Charming, I must say, mate. <laughs> The winner of tonight's ultra match could take away with them a proton killy watcher, a nebby flab flog, yes, and the star prize two weeks on Amazonia. Watch Ultra Match tonight on Holovision 9. Yes. Ultra Match is sponsored by the Zeta Corporation. I was watching that. Why don't you just forget about Alter Area? Put it behind you. Let me help you make a fresh start. No woman is going to tell me what to do. I don't need you, and I do not need your job. But see, I said was off. You really must learn to control your language in front of a lady. What did you say? Now you listen to me. How do you think you managed to get out of Alter Area? Uh, I... I bought you out. Bought me? I own you, and you will do exactly as I say. Otherwise, you'll find yourself back in Alter Area before you can say, Waz off! <laughs> now, come over here. There's something I want to show you. Well, come on. I'm not going to bite you. More salad, Melanie. What about soup? So, I'll save you the tofu. Oh, thanks a lot. Oh, I absolutely agree, Melanie. The rainforests are definitely suffering because of our eating habits. Well, it's true. I am concerned about it. You didn't seem very concerned yesterday when you were stuffing that hamburger down your neck. Yeah, well, you're just jealous because Melanie and I have something in common. Yeah, you have got one thing in common. Your cousins. Besides, it's obvious she's got the hots for me. What? She didn't look at you all night. It just proves my point. She's playing it cool. She'll probably be over any minute with my Coco. Yeah, you crank me up, Steve. So, you're a time traveller? No, I'm the time traveller. It's made me a very rich woman. I built Zeta Core on the proceeds. But your behaviour has cost me dearly. It's damaging to be genetically linked to someone who's been to Alter Area. But it wasn't me, it was Kappa II. I know the truth. I've studied the history grams. Which is why I intend to prove your innocence and expose Kappa II as the real time criminal. <laughs>